Hi again, I'm Carson from Guys With Games. Today I'm going to show you three different games using one prop, the soft ball. These are games that you would play in the middle of class. So sometimes that's exactly what you need. Your students are finding it difficult to pay attention or they're working through some really dense material and you know they're falling asleep. Stop what you're doing and play a one or two minute game. And here are three examples. Okay, so let's look at them one at a time. Bad throw, bad catch. How to play. Everybody stop what you're doing. Stand up and stand somewhere along the wall. We're going to use underhanded throws to give another person the ball, but it could be anyone. So if you have the ball, call out someone's name and underhanded throw to that person. Now, If your throw is bad, if it's nowhere near that person, you are out. If you're out, I will ask you to review some English something. Usually it's the QA that we've done earlier in the class. But you're out, you say the answer to, the, to my question, and then you'll go and sit down in your chair in the middle, and we'll play until there's one person left. Finished. How about if they don't catch it? Well, that's a bad catch, and they would be out also. Number two. Books on your heads. You play the same game. It's bad throw, bad catch, but in this variation, you take a small book, maybe their communication book or a reading book, open it to the middle page, and everybody puts it on their head. So it's exactly the same as bad throw and bad catch, but with the added element that if the book falls off your head, you are also out. Now, I, it's important to note that once the book is on your head, you are not allowed to adjust it or put it back on. You can't touch it at all anymore. So even if you're just standing there, if you're kind of antsy and not really paying attention, and oh no, you're out too. The same rules apply if you're out, you sit down. The last one is kind of, uh, take this with a grain of salt. I don't play this game anymore because the furniture in my classroom currently it's not conducive for this. This would be great if you were outside on a playground. It's a fun, fun game. Uh, but if you feel like you can get away with this, and what I mean is like the environment it, that you teach in is safe, then you can play this freeze dodgeball. Here's how you play. The person with the ball calls out someone's name. Let's say Eric. But I'm going to throw the ball somewhere that Eric isn't. So if Eric's over there, I'm going to say Eric and I'm going to throw the ball here. At that moment, two things happen. Eric makes his way to the ball. And the other students, they're all scattering around the classroom, probably away from where the ball is. And then once Eric gets here to the ball, he'll say, freeze. And everybody else, wherever they are, whatever they're doing, they're frozen in motion. And Eric is going to try to hit somebody with the ball. And if Eric misses, Eric is out. Eric is out and he needs to do the English task and sit down. If he hits somebody, that person that he hits, they're out. And they need to do the English task. Whoever's out, they get the ball and they, before they sit down, they can choose the next person. So, okay, Susan. Those are our three, one, two, three minute games for the middle of the class to give your students more energy to get back to work. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you again next week. Bye-bye.